So that this is a video on how to look at archived and returned mail pieces coming back to you. So uh, as per normal, you'd have your Xerox hybrid mail service login page, username and password in there. You probably only have to do that once and you could probably have an automatic login at the moment. So once you're into the uh, main screen, if you go into mail and then into view archive mail, what would happen is any mail that's been sent out over a 60 day period and the 60 day period is a, as of a default. So it could be a little bit longer in your setup that you've got through the PAS there. But anything sent, sent out over a 60 day period would appear in your mail archive here. So if somebody sent somebody phones in and says they didn't receive an item, what you can actually do is type a recipient name in there. So I'll type my name within the system there press return and then there's all the items that have been sent out to myself either via email or via letter so if you need to see any of the items you just click into it and you can see that this particular mail piece on the right hand side was actually emailed to me so it was one of the demonstrations that I had to actually do through through the system so there was the front page and there was the back page with a, a map that we actually had on on the system there so you can see all the items that have been sent out through the system so again if somebody phones through and says they didn't receive their letter all you need to do is go in type the recipient's name in there and then you can actually find those mail pieces that have been sent out if i have a look at another one have a look at one that was sent over to Amen at imperial uh, this is a test letter that was sent over uh, st mary's hospital there. and as you can see there's the front page it was created on the date there and it was printed on the same date there at that time at 5.48. So all the details in there. If you want to resend that letter, simple enough, you just press print. And then you can actually send that again through the hybrid mail system if you want to do that. And that's simply by selecting the destination, which is the hybrid mail printer, and then pressing print and you can resend that letter. If you actually wanted to email a particular letter, all you need to do is go into downloads, download that to your desktop, and then you can put it as an attachment as a PDF if you need to do that. So th that's how simple it is to actually look at archive letters through the system. Uh, and similarly, what you can actually do is go into mail, view, return mail, and then any mail that's actually been returned back into Xerox will actually appear here. So what simply all our, our guys do is uh, scan the 2D barcode, which is which is within the window, and then a PDF will be created of that letter and it would actually appear in here. So if you click into one of them, this is actually a return mail piece that's come back through the system. And more importantly, you'll actually get a returned reason on the right hand side here. This is a post room rejection one, but you, you wouldn't get that. You would either get something along the lines of maybe a deceased or a dressy gone away, but the reason for the return would be in there. And of course this helps with DNAs and you can actually update your records accordingly for that or update uh, any other records that you've got within the PAS. So that's how simple it is to look at return mail. So again, it's just mail, view return mail, and if you want to look at archive mail, archive mail underneath there.